John, John, are you code inclined? Do you know what they are talking about? You have children. How old is your how old is your how old how, how old are your kids? Tell us right now and tell us what you know about coding and if you are getting ready because coding is the way to go. Kids have to start to get to learn coding. And that question is for Alan John and for Princess Melvin. She has a 14-year-old. Not oh God. I'm getting ready to take poor Kayla age up. She has a teenager and she loves computer. But Princess, do you know what Kino and Ali G is talking about? <laughs> Not I Princess, Alan, Alan John first. Mama Coco, well, if I tell the other squad, dude, I lost. <laughs> I ain't know much about the people on the code and the we start with it. But before I jump right into that, I want to say some things. I want to get some things out of it. First of all, I want to say allergy. Allergy. Yes, be encouraged. Here we are telling you, that charity organization you have, keep it up. Because I want to, I always like to share my story because I always want to be real as possible. Presently, right now, in China and Tobago, all the children don't have laptops who don't have iPod. I will say I was fortunately that someone, I wouldn't call the person's name. You can, why not? My two children this week with, with... Okay, so, okay, it's Mama Coco's son, bless my two children this week with tablets. I was so grateful. Now, in my community of charity, listen what I say, it have some days I was home, right? Most of the children are home in the streets. So that is telling me enough of them are without tablets, are without laptops. So that is a community that is going to be backward. You hear me loud and clearly? So if you guys, some of you guys like who live out there and a continue to the donation, I don't know who's going to be with, with our next generation coming. There's a video circling right now on social boys? media. Where, where Ex you see exactly with the young exactly. men. Yeah. But, but hold on, but Alan, so, so you, 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 you guys see. I don't even know what you guys are talking about, but a, a, a video. What video? Alan John, continue the conversation with the video. Okay, there's a video circling right now on social media with some young men. I want, I, would, I want to be frank. There is no more than 14 years of age. So they are 14 and under. And they are all with alcohol. It yes. is alleged. It looks like punching. It looks like Hennessy. And they are partying and they are having a time. When all of them, I believe, should have been on laptops and on computer doing schoolwork. Because it is in the day. So if people like you guys do help out some of us who are not fortunate. I don't know where China and Tobago head in or not. So that's why I'll tell people like Ali Gi and those like your family and who helping others like me because it have some children I so don't Alan know. John? I don't know what is their portion. So Alan, you power. guys received the, the computer. Where is it? <laughs> they have it all now. They have it all now. The, the mom, the mom hooking up some things on it. I'm gonna share some pictures maybe in the weekend thing with with, with you guys. But I want to say publicly here, yeah, I'm thankful for it. I appreciate that because my daughter is a A student. She is nine years. She's in standard three. She was struggling last week to do her schoolwork on her mother's phone, and you know her phone small. The size of her phone, it's small. So she was struggling, but she was getting there because that's all we had. No, plenty children, if fortunate, even have Wi-Fi. This is something in 2020, I feel most, the whole of Trinidad should have free Wi-Fi. And it, to me, like the government is doing nothing, the same social media on board to help us with it. Go to social media. I'm in social development. 
and they will help you with grants. And, but I feel it moving too slow. It moving too slow. I tell you, I see too much. Because some days I get rain off. When rain falling, we can't work because painting I do right now. It had too much of young children on the streets. They don't have equipment but to do school work. they said it will be fine. Because, for instance... They made the right choice every when, time. When, when, when. Listen, 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 listen to me, eh? Listen where I'm going again. If you is a parents and you have five children, right? Now, you have a child in standard. You have a child in standard one. You have a child in standard two. You have a child in standard three. No. And five and four or form one or form two. You know him. You have to have a device. Each because and school, school hours are school hours. School hours are school hours for everybody. Yeah. You understand? See, see where I'm going. You see where I'm going. You can't say, well, my son name is Jeremiah. I can't say I go learn so I have Jeremiah tablet. Because during school hours, he need his own and she need her own. So you see where we going as a so you guys should you guys you you guys should be out there protesting against the Ministry of Education, protesting against the Prime Minister, protesting against the Minister of Finance, protesting against social services, protesting against every single department that pertaining to children. Mama I am going to do, listen, I am going to do my part. I wasn't inspired by people and what they have and what they don't have. I was inspired by the Holy Spirit to move accordingly. I will, have, but I, will, I will have nieces and nephews, let me talk. I will have nieces and nephews that will not get an iPad from me. But then we have to say, recall the winning party. Recall that the winning party said, take the free help and then vote red. That's what they say in Tobago. Okay. Take the roof, take the roof and run them. Take this and run them. So nobody ain't gonna be giving now. People don't care to give because when Watson giving, they find that this and that. When 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 Alexander giving, they're saying this and that. PNM wasn't giving anything, but we take, we vote, and we give them. But Mama Coco, sometimes you have to leave right. some people to live in the hard way. Sorry, that is what you know. Sorry for them, you them, know. You have to leave them. You have to leave them sometimes. Alan, leave to people. Let me tell you something, Alan. Let me right? tell you, you something. You see, before you go, Ali, let, let me lead you with a, with a coaching. God said, that he looks beyond our faults and he sees our needs. That is how I move it. I am doing as the master wanted. I ain't taking up because you see, I know better with the election. I know the election wasn't real. I know there was spiritual warfare out there and it is still there. They even came after me to kill me. You guys are lucky to have me here. That's why I ain't saying anything to anybody. The people, our country was too disenfranchised to vote for one party rule. That's not how God wanted Trinidad and Tobago to be right now. The change that came over the sugar plantation, it was called the sugar revolution. So the change which coming over Trinidad and Tobago, it has to be the political revolution. And that didn't happen. Okay. So we are going to keep our, our debate and our questions in line. Because if we should go down the road, they might look to kill me tonight again. <laughs> they can't kill him. The brother Jesus over no, here. Well, all, you, all you have to say it and mean it. They can't, we can't kill be, him. We can't be caught. No, no, no. Is he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide? So when you pull me out from inside of there and bring me out to go and fight this physical warfare, I ain't doing the flesh and blood war. All of us know that the election was not real. The election was called hastily with no reason. COVID-19 and just show up after the election. It was a there. But you ain't do testing. You can't be zesting. 
people came into our country from Venezuela, what did they bring? We sit down and we take everything. Nobody in question, why the rush election? Why we can't have people to oversee the election? We take everything with a smile. And I ain't buying it. Pinola P. Beckles was away. She reached back home for election. People who are abroad and want to come home, they couldn't come home. So we're doing broken. what we want. Yes. Remember that a child who is left behind educationally, will stay behind even into adulthood. Five years will be too late for an, Im for an impressionable child. Five years too much. Well, we you, know if you, you know if you get, if you diagnose with cancer and you wait or you feel like you have something wrong, but you stay five years with it before you go and you see about it. You tell me. You tell me how, what results you will get. It only wouldn't be stage one, you know. It will be stage four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten if you can go so high. You're dead. So cancer is taking over the educational TNT children right now. Because as we know, if you're poor, you have to stay on the floor. And if you're black, you have to stay right on track where you are. You talk about KFC, is the one percent Abu that own KFC? Mutet. So I don't know where we're going with this here tonight, but I love it. <laughs> I want to ask a question: Where did we go wrong? Can any one of you have the answer? Speak up. That's a question that I ask. You know, what went wrong? Mama Coco trend begonians need to be the need to, to they need to vote on based on facts. Trend begonians don't like facts. Trend begonians like bacchanal. Somebody Trin be, Trin begonians no facts because no, they're they living. No, 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 no. They're Mama living. Coco, the, no, they they're living. The, so why is the facts to Trinidad? They're Mama living. The, Ali G, wait a minute. They're living the facts every day. They see, no, no, we don't need, you see, this is what people doesn't understand. Yeah. That is how a man lives, so shall he die. They live in poor. They live in disenfranchised. But you know what makes the difference? Racism, classism, and sexism. Don't think people and get it. 11 people life and change one week before election. They're still shitting in latrines. 11 people didn't get water. They still want water. We are living our pain. But yet still, spiritual wickedness in high places turn the mind of the people. We're not understanding. I would never blame a Trinidadian right now. Not after where God show me. You see, you have eyes to see, let them see. And if you have eyes to see the spiritual things of life, then you will speak differently. That's why I can speak differently. You see, when we don't speak like this, we leave in Keith Rowley and them to run but why? So the next election here and others will run to Africa, bear up, change up the clothes, and come back. We will leave them to bring in Maduro people, huh? and do whatever they want. We will lead them to abuse Gary Griffith, put him on a job, to use his gun to kill those who have a gun. But Alwari's children could run around with a gun and they're still standing up all over town. We don't do that. It's a spiritual warfare in Trinidad and Tobago and it started since with Eric Williams and Dr. Capildeo. If we don't know, we don't know. And if we want to know, we better start to learn. And don't separate culture from politics, else we're dead. You're going to tell me that everybody now who's suffering for a laptop still cursing out Kamala Bissessa? She gave it. If there wasn't good, she still initiated. 
She still show us where our kids have to lean. That Alan John have three children and he doesn't know anything about coding. Princess doesn't know anything about coding. Can I just say All something? because the I time when we- I don't know anything about coding. Eh? But who do we hold accountable? If we say, if we blame everything on spirit, that's why I. I that's why I'm. No, 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 we, no, no, no. That's why I'm asking you. Where did we go wrong? What was wrong? Mama Coco, Don't the say the people. It's not who? the people. Mama Coco, we have to hold the people accountable. You see, this is why I just always say, you listen to learn to repeat, and we cannot hold to the audience accountable. When you hear that the coolie go get bigger than you, not knowing that the, that the Indians already who they are, not knowing that the Indians sacrificed for their kids before, and the black people's national movement government kept the black people at a certain level all our lives. Who we want to blame? Don't blame the people. Blame Mama the management. Coco. Mama Coco, we will have to agree to disagree because nobody could tell me how it feels to drink sugar water if I drink sugar water. I had to know I want to drink milk. So I had to wait till you tell me that milk creamy. No, I, no I Ali, I Ali, this, Ali, Ali, your analogy and them kind of basic tonight, you know. Go Mama up where, go well, up, go up, go Mama up where you used to be. Mama why Coco, I, we have to agree Ali, to disagree. Ali, why, Ali, while I bring you back on this show, Mama is Coco, because of the level. Disagree. Listen to me, Ali. Ali, no, the Mama. level, the level of your conversation, you have to keep it where it used to be. Mama Coco, this has always been me, and nothing has changed because yes. we disagree. Because we disagree, does not mean that it has changed. Ali, we don't disagree, no. We are Ali, we, Ali, disagree. we don't disagree, my my darling. We don't disagree. We disagree. You want? I am no. I am people. just telling you, I Ali. People accountable. Go ahead, Alan. Hey, we don't want a warrior tonight. No, it's Mama not the war. It's a debate. It's a debate. It's a debate. Mama Coco, Mama Coco, debate. you were going on. You were going on with me tonight. Somehow I go in and decide with Ali Gee tonight. Eh? Thank so you. I'm going to blame. As, as you, these are the things where I just stay silent sometimes and just watch and leave things to happen. Sometimes you know somebody going down in danger. You're telling them, you're telling them, you're telling them. You just leave them, leave them. Mama Coco, you have to blame the people sometimes. Who are you going to blame? Some Alan, who you vote for? Some Alan, Alan, you, Alan, who you vote for? He can't say that. Why he can't say it? Mama Coco, you know, these people, you know these people that will... But, but Alan, who you say. vote for? So you are Mama. one of them who... You are one of them who agree... You are one of them who agree with what Ali G said. Okay, you're brave enough to say that. You run out to say that now. Who you vote for? You can't say it. Let me, go back to, let, let me go back to Kino. So what I would say, I mean, <laughs> I always hook everything back to culture. And for me, culture is simple. A basic way of life. That's what culture is. Culture is the way of life. And it incorporates everything that we do. From every household have a culture. Every country has a culture. So, for example, right now, um, yesterday, it was so unfortunate to hear about the passing of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, um, that Supreme Court justice woman from um, the U U.S. Supreme Court. And the big thing right now is, will she be replaced before, will she be replaced before the election? The election is 45 days away. Okay, in 2016, something similar had happened. A Supreme Court just judge. Give me one. Retired. Give me one. Give me one minute here. Sure, brother Roberts. Wendell Dexter is saying, "We need prayer, and we need a spiritual revolution." That is what Trinidad need. The people have been led astray. All I remember how hard Moses worked. Moses listened to God and he took the people of Israel away from Pharaoh. He knocked the rock. Water came. He parted the Red Sea. But because of disobedience and his anger, 
Moses did all of that, but it took his brother Joshua to took the people into the promised land. So Trinidad and Tobago people just get carried away. Their mind just get messed up. If you feed me with enough coconut milk right now, because I don't drink milk, I don't drink dairy. So I'm using coconut milk, not almond milk. I'm allergic to almond. But I'm using coconut milk and oat milk. Oat milk doesn't have additives because I make my own oat milk. You put the oat in, in to soak, you put it in your blender, you blend it as much as you can, and then you strain it. The remnants, which is the husky part, you could bake bread, bake muffin, you could do whatever you want with that. The juice from the, from the oat is called oat milk. So these are many forces, in, and until we get there, we will always feel that going up on a stage and cuss out and being black garish and being jammed and cuss out could win an election. No. It's the minds of the people. If the minds of the people then change, and if the minds of the people get carried away by captivity, are you going to tell me that I will blame the people of Trinidad and Tobago? We see all these people walking behind Watson. We seen the crowd came out. Watson didn't check out areas that plenty PNM live to even go in depth. But I'm waiting on Watson. Watson would be here next week. So we're gonna talk. But I wanted to ask us what we believe happened. We, the same thing the politicians doing, blaming the people. And we the people want to blame the people. The people voted. Mom, Mama Coco, one thing I want to say before you go back to Kino, um, you know, right? People, you follow the Bible, I follow the Bible. Some follow the Quran, some follow the Gita, right? Listen to what I'm going to say. All those books state that the wise will live off the foolish. May have much to say again concerning that. I rest my case here. Right, you, you remember, wise would live up the foolish. Well, that way we listen, not coming back again with the mind game again. What I am saying, the, the people who were left back is because of disobedience, and they had to stay there and suffer for 40 years. And that is what Kino was saying five more years for suffering because it, it didn't start, the election didn't start now. We start to see and learn from since 2010. So I don't think there's a fundamental disagreement here or anything. I mean, the people did make a choice, you know, however the, pe however the people came to a choice, we have to live with the consequences of that choice. And it's what we are going to do now about the consequences. For a lot of people, it's personal. They may want to pull back on charity. You know, you don't have to give, but I really believe That's it's right. the obligation and it's the responsibility of the government to, to, provide, to provide this, you know, and we need to make better political choices and better political choices start when people are educated more you know you can't and then you have to look at the, you have to look at the how these the bases of the parties and everything like that who supports the ruling party you know um it, it's a lot of it's a bunch of women most of the times yes and yes. elderly women most of the times and you just have to are these people making right choices for their children and their grandchildren i don't know they have to they have to know that for themselves but i did see that video and that video was horrendous and people are going to use that video to say this is what black trinidadians want because this is how black trinidadians are behaving that is what they want and you know what is their kids are the ones who will get it constantly but getting shut want? down they are the, they're the ones who are going to be filling the jails. They're the ones whose schools aren't going to be doing the best because that is what they want. What, what, what I think Mama Coco is saying in terms of where did that come from culturally? Where did that come from culturally? It has to be more than that is just what they want. It comes from a level of expectation. You know what, people? If you live in a household of doctors... Chances are you want to aspire to that. You may not, but 
people have to aspire to something. Most of the times when we're in our communities and those urban communities that we've really thrived off of politically and throw the scraps to, po politicians depend on those communities and they depend on everything that's function that's non-functioning in those communities for their success that's what they thrive on so we have to go back to the foundation of understanding we're we talking about culture we're talking about politics we're talking about um generational poverty we talk there's a lot of things that make up there are two people. words ali G, that you just, just go what? to that ali just go to that and we could end the conversation what were, what two words is that mental slavery but Mama Coco, if the people are still Ali, living, we need Ali, to remember something. These are the same people who voted in a slight election for UNC. Eh? This, these Ali, are the same people. Ali, I right. am telling you something right now. Okay. And if you do not understand, I do not disagree. Where, if you do not, well, well, you, you don't have to agree. Ali, I can understand what, what you're saying, but I don't. No, agree well, no. well, just listen to me. You see the mental slavery. You see if we and get out of that. Where people could swear us with just giving us a, a, a fixer road and fixer this immediately, build a hospital to Mama Guy way. The one that they have in Scarborough, it didn't have no equipment. Everything shut down, but you rushed to build one so you could so you could come and tantalize with brain and show us gimmick. You know, I don't want to lose my voice on this. So how so do we know get why? Mama Coco? If nothing Ali, has changed, how do we get I, out of it? Well, is that how? what I was asking you? But you start Mama, to blame you blame I, the people. I still blame the people because my I will thing not is do that. And we are, I will this, not that's where do we that. disagree. But I will, right. we will agree to disagree will, on that. Thank you. But then I will not say that. I am not going to assassinate my yeah. brethren. Maybe if I was living home, I would have behaved like that. But because I'm on the outside looking in, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see clearly now. Sing well, Mama Coco, sing. well, we can't. No, no, listen, they don't even want us to go back to vote. So forget about that. So if the people in the island still brainwash, some, and I have to say some because look at how much people on the, on the life. We have people at home who know better. We have people, everybody did not vote for PNM. So who are you holding accountable? Interestingly, no, no, no. <laughs> Listen to this. Ali, Ali, listen, Ali, listen. Ali. Alon, Alon. <laughs> We're not turning this into a joke tonight. Eh? We have this to hold somebody up. This, this is serious Mama business. Mama okay, Mama okay, 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 let me read this. No, nah, no joke. We joke yeah. election day, and that's enough joke for me. Ali G still hurt. A lot of people still I am hurt for them, because at the end of the day, Mama Coco, when I decide I want to eat lobster on a Monday, I know plenty of people, my friends can't do it on the ground, but if I talk into you, listen, Mama Coco, according to Ali what G, they Ali have G. voted for who they want. Ali G Trinidadians was lacking of the knowledge not to vote PNM. If people, even though they hate Alexander, that man was bringing points upon points upon points upon points why we shouldn't lean that way. But what we do now, we judge him because of his language. No, Interestingly, it more than that. In, no, no, no. Well, he has his ways. It had more than that, Mama Coco. I say he has his ways, you know, because you were in the party. About Interestingly, <laughs> Ali, Ali, one minute. Interestingly, the ruling party blames the people too. Imagine people, imagine people throw water. They throw water on the Rasta man from Labantil. And he's still win election. That, that is brain. Should. That is brainwashing Ali. Ali Mama Coco. Go spiritual. Mama, Mama, Coco Ali did spiritual. Who, Mama Coco did the people who throw water and then vote for him. That is the question we mm. need to ask. You see, we're making, we're casting well, our see, We're never going to know who exactly vote for who. But that's, that's the, the point. Thing. That's the but, point. But, 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 but here's what. We're not going to know who vote for who. And we have to stop generalizing on people because... Chances but, are the people who voted in 2010, some of them probably voted in 2010. Some of them are dead. So we can't just generalize on people. We have to look at voting behavior, how that, certain that is what area I am vote, saying. how yes. certain blacks vote. And so on. that is what we have to look at. And why, would to long, long, why would to be so going and still long, vote, vote, vote PNM? After yeah. 16 years of office, you see, you see, Ali G, you just conclude. 
But I don't conclude. What am I, I concluding? The evidence is there. The vote no, the party. Who tell you? Who tell you the vote is right? Who tell you that the box and them wasn't paddled? Who tell you everything clean and clear? We don't know. We both agree. I I believe like you believe that it was not a fair fight. But I do not believe that it was so much so that the people didn't vote for them. Come on. If the whole lot of people are going to jump up and say, but we Ali, vote, you know. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens. Remember, if Christ not strengthen the people and they get carried away by culture and race. Now, now listen to me. This champion show is champions talking here right now. This is not people who want to learn that. We live in out Kino, you know, we live in out Toya. Yeah? Alon Kaiden coming okay. on his own, he coming in to support. I want to hear from you, Alon. And you what? can't tell me to blame. I no, 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 no. <laughs> when, if, if Keith Rowley didn't know that Patrick Manning's son who doesn't, who doesn't have anything politically in him. Hey, look. Another question, please. We're done. Because I will go places that all you wouldn't like this evening. I am done. But I ain't going to oh. suffer the people. I promise anybody who vote for PNM, I wasn't going to help them. Right now, I don't care who vote for PNM because God showed me that we all were led away by captivity. And when you captivate the mind of people and you suppress people to the point where they believe that without you, you know, yes, some men, they tell women, you can't survive without me. And you sit down there. The minute you leave and you start to taste a different sex, you don't want no sex from me again. You know? The minute you leave and that man starts to carry you to a hotel and dine and wine you, you don't want to see that man again. You know? Although he said, you can't do it without me. Until the people get to the point where we can choose without fear without being afraid that we lose. A lot of us choose because we think we lose. A lot of us believe in we're ready and we're ready. A lot of us be believe in that my mother been a PNM and I got dead PNM. And that's what they're doing. That doesn't mean the, con the whole country believe that way. So stigmatizing the people. It's not the people. He really need to answer. What happened to the 2020 election? How low did they go? How nasty did they perform? Why you alone forming the government? God said come together for unity. Let us reason together. The same party that suffers for 40 something years in power is the same one everybody who's suffering right now vote for in 2020 well, that could never when, be real they say when they rule let us rule alone so we have to rule alone for the next five years and who are to catch will catch but a lot of people will be catching there you know what so that's just how it is what what are we gonna do people made the people made a choice you know and we just have to live with it and we have to proceed from from proceed on you know what it's unfortunate it's gonna this is gonna be consequential for some people for the rest of their lives but you know what the way trinidad was designed to work it's the status quo it's the way our society was set up it was that's how it was established you understand everybody can't be at the top you understand so some people will get left behind and it's unfortunate that some people will get left behind but there's gonna have to be some people to do certain types of jobs for low income, because that's the choice that they are making. They probably are not able to connect X to Z to Y to realize that's the choice that they're making, but that's the choice that they're making. You understand? If you could sit down and tell yourself, because my mother used to vote this way, I'm going to vote this way, and not using any reason toward critical action, that's on you and for you to catch. Um, Kino, um, I will come in here again. There's a, there's a saying I grew up with. Too. A old man once said, "If you're giving, if you keep giving a monkey one thing, 
You day you try, you remember you always get one fig, you know. If you get two fig, that day you get two fig, you get on differently, you know. So sometimes that is just how you have to go. Give them little, give them little. Mama Coco, everybody, we know in this country of Trinidad and Tobago, we should be living like Dubai. Let us be fair. We should be like Dubai. No children should be left on food. No children should be suffering for the, the, this 2020 going forward with education. We should be like Dubai. Trinidad and Tobago is too you know, small. You know, you know why I will go easy on you, Alan? You're a young man. Alan, I'm 64. And I've been under the sun longer than you are. And I've seen what was happening years before. And I expected better. So if you guys don't find me a little bit too serious, let me tell you guys, enough is enough. And you see this new age conversation that we're having, blaming the people? That's been happening for 60-something years. And people just keep voting them back and back, even if they know that they're not good. We have to go into it. If somebody go to jail for stealing a pong of banana, you spend all that time in jail and you come back out, are you going to go back in for stealing a pong of banana again, except you have a reason for being in jail? Maybe you have a boyfriend in there or a girlfriend in there. Oh, your mind that lazy and crippled. I am telling you guys to listen to me here tonight. You guys don't have to abide in what I have to say. But until we start to see politics from a different angle, bring back civics, teach people how to vote and why they should vote. And I love it. I love it that we could have this discussion. Because, because we're having this discussion, I know exactly how to approach the next election that is coming in January or whenever. We watch all the tricks of government. And we're not putting any blame on government. We're seeing what they're doing. We keep, they're keeping a certain race of people at a certain level. Don't think every Indian have it. Don't think every Indian is rich. We have Indians still shitting in latrines in Trinidad too. But collectively they have more. I'm just saying that they have more. And they, yes, they want they, it better. They have more. They and want they, it and better. They, they have more. They want it better. First it started with the need. They want it better. And they work their way up. So I remember being in ho at home. Mama Coco and me younger than you. And I, I can remember seeing going to really? school. Really? Really? But Mama Coco, but you know, he's 16. <laughs> and I remember seeing afro Begonians taking advantage of Indian children and slapping them and, and calling them all kind of names because why they come into school in slippers and they're smelling like coconut oil and the parents were selling doubles right there by the school. But do you know something, Mama Coco? Those children whose parents are selling the doubles on the little bicycle with the little makeshift box. Those mm -hmm. children are now doctors and lawyers. And they have that big house. Just what Kino was saying, they have the business under the house. So at the end of the day, these people started up behind us. You know, our parents, what they was doing, going to Joy Lewis. How much kick and stab. And now they're ahead of us, Mama Coco. So they had to want better. Not every so, Indian family. But is ahead, so, but most of them, the better off than most of the, 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 the Negro family. So, so then, what we're saying. So then collectively, what needs to happen? And we have to, we have to, we have to say that collectively, black people in Trinidad, Tobago, I mean, Tobago for the last 20 years have been beholden to the PNM. Okay. I don't like to call the name, but they've been beholden to them. I don't know when, but I don't know how long that's going to remain still on our psyche. You know, it's, I mean, it's the same thing. Like it's, you, you find the same thing in the United States. It's like poor white people voting for the Republican party and they hold on to it. 
You know, at one point, it was poor white people voting for the Democratic Party, and they held on to it because the Democratic Party was a party that supported racism and slavery and everything like that. But there was political realignment. And what we need to really experience in Trinidad and Tobago is some real, real political realignment based on real political philosophy, because we really don't have any philosophy, any real political philosophy about what's the gov government's obligation to its citizens. And in a time like this, especially to the children who are the most vulnerable, whose educations are, 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 are hanging by a thread right now, we have an obligation and a moral responsibility to provide them with computers. Simple. I think we keep speak. We, I think we, we keep speaking in in, in 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 a vacuum because we are saying that the government is responsible, but we know the same government not providing the, the computers. Then we're saying that we don't blame the people, but at the same time we're saying the people are lying to the PNM, and the PNM has done nothing for sixty some years. So where where in all this confusion do we make Ment shit? mental where slavery? Make shit? But Mama Coco, mental who slavery. Going, who is going to teach the people about civics? And, and the role of government, because this Ali, is what I Ali, said. Who's going to do it? Well, Ali, that's the saying, job of political Ali, parties. Ali, they're not Ali, going to do it. The, that they're is the job, Ali, that's Ali, the job Ali, of the political Ali. party. Don't use that's words the, that they're not going to and who's going to Mama do Coco. it. We know who's going to do it. Mama, who's going to do it, Mama Coco? They will do it when the minds of the people get ready. Let go of the minds of the people. Ma Stop enslaving people mentally. Mama Coco, this you is, know what? Your name is Alexander. You, say, you just called Philip Edward Alexander name tonight. And let me tell you, I was in that party. And that man gave Jack his jacket. He was educating people and saying a lot of the right I things. I gave Philip Alexander a ball so much in front of the Red House. We, you see, you see, we don't understand. Um, this is what I'm we talking about. But, 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 but let me finish my thought. Up. The point Go is, ahead. Philip did what he did. He did. He did what he did. And Mama Coca, did that change the people? Did that change the people? Unless Ali, it's are you, Ali, so, cool. Ali, 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 it's not going to happen. You meant Ali, so, Ali, Ali. Kino, you know, yeah. let me just say one thing and then you talk because Princess Anne said nothing yet and she's a Tobagonian. <laughs> what I am talking about here now, explain what mental slavery can do to a people, especially black people, None who but don't have any... Free your mind. Mental slavery. Explain but, that, Kino. So one of the things. So I think it's it's this is there's so much packed up into this thing, and you know because I look at this also from a spiritual dimension as well, where you really can't get through to the minds of the people. And I mean, I don't want to say a lot of what I know or what because of what I study and so on, but there is 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 something. When we refer to, um, I've heard people said, and I've said, and I've accused them of being a cult. And what that simply means, it's a culture that they promote. They cultivated. A, cult a, a culture that they've minded and everything like that. And once we start talking <laughs> cult stuff, we, we, we're looking at a dimension that is spiritual, that attacks the mind and mindsets so when you talk about if you go to talk about um if you get really biblical and scriptural and these things and talk about and if you go maybe like look into the book of daniel and talk about when when he talks about the prince of persia and who was the prince of persia it was a territorial spirit and with all of these things and in trinidad and tobago we were such a strong spiritual nation you know and there are so there are so many different vibrations from so many different aspects from christianity from islam from hinduism and when all of those things clash in the 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 the, the region above our heads a place where a lot of politicians dwell in and deal up in if you understand what I i'm understand. saying and certain regions would be bounded by certain things. And that's the decision that they're going to make. So you have to look at it from, from, from that level as well. If we, if we go, I heard Philip, I saw what Philip Alexander was doing. I remember he did a live in front of the Red House. Not the Red House. Yeah, yeah, I call it the Red House. The Balizé House. <laughs> Crying. Bawling. About what the PNM 
has done to the children of Africa. Hear the man crying and bawling. It this these people, on my, from what I believe and from what I know, it's a cult. If you look, if you if you know anything about cults, cults are very spiritual thing, and every organization to a degree is a cult because they have a culture, and the culture that these people have promoted is one to accept litter, is one to accept poverty, and during slavery, a culture was all also exhibited to say, you know what, I don't want freedom. I want to stay here and dwell in slavery. A culture. You understand? So we need to get to the root of this culture and really begin to educate minds and liberate minds. And I believe part of that is spiritual. I don't have nothing more to say. You know, we have, we have uh, Exodus chapter 32. And when Wait, the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mountain, okay? Out of the mount where he went to receive the Ten Commandments. The people gathered themselves together unto Aaron. Yes. And said unto him, up. I mean, get up. Make us gods. Which shall go before us. And as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we will not. What is, become? what is become of him? Although Moses freed them, they still rebel against Moses. Because Moses went away for a little while. To take the instructions to bring the Ten Commandments back. They rebel and turn against and choose somebody else. So when we just take in elections and take in governance in our country. For granted. That when somebody come to us, we find the fault of who was there before. Who was there before and doing the job? But we still believe that without them, we can't get anything. The people, you have to stand up. But you can only do that. We can only do that when we reject. But the spirit and the forces have the people that right in the front of the face of Tobigonians, Shamfa Kojo could come and say, take the roof. And run them. You bring in Patrick Manning's son. After you berate Patrick Manning himself. Called on Lekito Jambi and him. Patrick Manning still died. But you know that without his son you couldn't win. That San Fernando seat. You're channeling Patrick Manning's spirit. Into him son. Into his son. That is what Keith Rowley and everybody big at. Channeling. Creating monsters of people so that people can see the monster in them. Two little words, Oreo. And blank and black. That turned the people mind. How frivolous are we? Why are we calling Indian schooling? Why we call the woman a lesbian? Why we call she a thief? We call she all names. He didn't tell his people don't do that. He forced them to damage the minds of the people against another, against a woman. Stockholm, Syn Stockholm Syndrome is a very deadly disease. It has been defined as a condition in which hostages, yes, Develop a psychological alliance with their captors during captivity. It is a mental illness. When we were asked in the early, let every creed and race find an equal place. And then God may bless the nation. Until we find it. 
We're going to have to be like a button. Push me and I could walk. Push me again and I will stop walk. A button doesn't have one function. Touch the button, I'll walk. Touch a button, I stop walk. Once we and get clear from this, every election going to put people in crazy mindset. No matter how much time PNM win and how much they win, Lavantil still have the problem. All the buildings they put up in Tobago, Roxborough, those buildings, money passed years for those buildings. Where are those monies? Who built the fire station? Which part of the government afforded the Roxborough fire station? Or was it a gift from China? Who built the Roxborough hospital? Is the government built it or a gift from China? Who built it? administrative buildings when was that money voted and passed to build that where is the Roxborough market where is the Roxborough abattoir why people who want to sell beef and pork in Roxborough have to go to Scarborough to kill that animal what price are your meat what price you're paying now for meat in Roxborough different from the price in Scarborough we we'll don't talk about Port of Spain And you telling me that people doing this because they love a party just so? Hell no! Tell them to stop messing. Stop playing games with people's mind. It's a mind game. People are too upset in Trinidad and Tobago for a result like this. Keith Lowry, I warn you before and I'm telling you now. They should have let Tobago win the two seat. So people want to see how obvious all your high gaze happen to be. You should have just win by one. Or you just should have barely win. Let some other party help you run the government. Well, they have to run it by themselves now and they are totally responsible for it and hopefully the people going forward will learn a lesson going forward that that's that's all but if we say the people have a if we say that nothing has changed the same people are in power why would the people ever question themselves because they're mentally captive why would they ever the, question anything ali is talking as if you're angry with what i'm saying but i'm I asking am you a question you, mama coco if we are saying that don't the people, have to change ali. mama coco whose mind has to change the if people, the people la- how will it change, Mama Coco, if the same people are in power and they are keeping a status quo? It's not going to change. We are it saying can... that mentally enslaved. Ali, this is what we're talking about today. What so, can I we do? So people Mama have to get Coco. real with themselves. People have to get real with themselves. So here's what here's what I need to here's what I'm gonna ask. Look at who makes up the leadership, look at who makes up the base. And I'm gonna bring it down home to the point as to say that. Would those children who were caught in the video with the the um the the whatever it was, will they will Faris Alwari take his children and associate it with those children? Why would that's he do that? That's how we have to look at it. That, that's how Why we would have to look he do that? Things. Would he do that? Would his children naturally associate with, with those children? Would Combs children or grandchildren or whoever you have associate with those children? Why and would it's they from do there, that? we have no, to make no, those no, decisions. No, 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 no. You so can't then just we say, have to come no, and no, 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 no. Those no, people no. don't Kino. like me. No, Kino. No, don't worry who don't like you. First, we have to like ourselves. Kino. But that is what I've been saying. We Ali, you are not saying sense. that Yali Ali. Saying no, the same thing. That's what I've been saying. saying the same thing from two listen different to, ends. Are listen, saying to, the same listen to what I am saying. <laughs> listen to what I am saying, Ali. We can't just pick up few kids that are doing something wrong and just keep a whole life on that. No. Are you messing up the life right now?